Have you ever fainted suddenly? You might have experienced vasovagal syncope. Today, we're going to explore this prevalent condition that often goes misunderstood and misdiagnosed. Vasovagal syncope is a brief loss of consciousness, typically triggered by emotional stress or a sudden change in body position. It's a common condition, affecting up to 40% of the population at some point in their lives. While it's particularly common among younger individuals, it presents a unique epidemiological pattern across different age groups. Despite its prevalence, distinguishing it from other causes of syncope is crucial, as it aids in preventing potentially life-threatening conditions such as sudden cardiac death. The intricacies of vasovagal syncope involve complex mechanisms, both central and peripheral, making its management a challenging task in both cardiology and general practice. Vasovagal syncope, while common, is often misunderstood and misdiagnosed. Let's delve deeper into understanding this intriguing condition. So, what exactly is vasovagal syncope? Well, it's a condition often triggered by emotional or physical stress which causes the heart rate and blood pressure to drop suddenly. This then leads to a brief loss of consciousness or what we commonly refer to as fainting. On the surface the symptoms might seem simple, dizziness, sweating or a feeling of warmth right before the fainting episode. However it's the body's underlying response that's really intriguing. You see in response to certain triggers, the nervous system sends out signals that slow down the heart rate and lower blood pressure. This reflex action while protective in nature, can sometimes be too strong, causing a person to faint. Now, it's important to understand that vasovagal syncope is a complex condition that varies greatly among individuals. Some might faint at the sight of blood while others might do so after standing for long periods. Recognizing these individual triggers is crucial to managing this condition. It's a complex condition that varies greatly among individuals. Now, how do we diagnose this condition? Well, it all begins with a comprehensive medical history and a detailed physical examination. These initial steps are paramount in understanding the story behind a patient's fainting episodes. It's here that we might discover patterns, triggers, or even the presence of prodromal symptoms like dizziness and sweating, which are often telltale signs of vasovagal syncope. But we don't stop there. Standard diagnostic tools such as a 12-lead ECG are employed to rule out arrhythmic causes. These tests give us a snapshot of the heart's electrical activity, helping us to identify any underlying conditions that might be causing the syncope. Yet some cases remain ambiguous, and it's in these instances that we turn to more advanced diagnostic tools like tilt-table tests, which replicate the conditions that often lead to an episode of vasovagal syncope, and implantable loop recorders that monitor heart rhythms over an extended period. Diagnosis requires a thorough understanding of the patient's symptoms and medical history. Once diagnosed, how do we manage vasovagal syncope? Well, it begins with patient education. It's crucial to reassure patients about the benign nature of the condition and to help them understand potential triggers to avoid. Lifestyle modifications like staying hydrated and avoiding sudden changes in posture are often the first line of defense. Next, we have non-medical interventions. These involve teaching the patient to recognize prodromal symptoms and respond appropriately. Techniques such as counterpressure maneuvers, where patients cross their legs or squeeze their hands into fists, can be effective in delaying or even preventing fainting episodes. Tilt training, which involves gradually increasing periods of standing, can also be beneficial. Then there's the world of pharmacological therapies. Several drugs have been tested including B-blockers, midodrine, and serotonin reuptake inhibitors. However, their efficacy varies widely from person to person and currently no single drug is recommended as the first-line treatment. It's important to note that medication should be considered only after lifestyle modifications and non-medical interventions have been tried. Lastly, there's cardiac pacing. Once thought to be a promising approach, recent studies suggest that the effectiveness of pacemaker therapy in preventing vasovagal syncope might have been overestimated. That said, it may still be a viable option for certain individuals. While there's no one-size-fits-all treatment, understanding the patient's unique circumstances is key. Remember, the best treatment plan is one tailored to the individual, taking into account their specific triggers, lifestyle, and overall health. So, to sum up, vasovagal syncope is a common yet complex condition, marked by a sudden loss of consciousness due to a drop in heart rate and blood pressure. Diagnosis can be challenging, but tools like the 12-lead ECG and tilt-table tests offer clarity. While treatment primarily involves patient education and lifestyle modifications, drugs and cardiac pacing may be considered in certain cases. 
Remember, vasovagal syncope is a common but complex condition. But with the right knowledge and approach it can be managed effectively.